Hey everybody, welcome back to Active Self Protection Extra. It's Neil here with another Sunday gear review and I've got something kind of cool that I'm playing with. You're gonna see a whole lot more of this, but we're gonna tell you about it first. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. All right, so hey everybody, I wanna introduce you to my new friend, Tyler. Brockle. Brockle. See, I get uh, once in a while I get a name right. It's very <laughs> rare. I know. Um, but uh, Tyler, uh, tell us about who you are, what this is all about, and give us a quick introduction. You bet. Uh, Tyler Brockle, Brookings, South Dakota. I'm the CEO and founder of a company that just hit the market here uh, back in January 2022 called Trigger Interactive. And we basically manufacture a system of devices called smart target attachments. Uh, you can see we got one right here and we'll go into a little bit more detail on it, but you can put these guys on any off the shelf steel firearm target and it will allow your targets to interact with you much like one of the state of the art pop-up ranges that the military and high-end law enforcement ent entities have. At maybe a little bit less money. At a drastically reduced a drastic, amount of money. Yep. So, uh, so Tyler and I shot our very first USPSA uh, match last weekend. That's where we met. Yep. Uh, so, um, yeah. And, and so it is kind of a fun thing here. And then we just, we talked about this a little bit, introduced each other. Uh, how did you do in the match? I didn't even ask. Um, uh, I was right in the middle for the, being the first match I ever did. I did 16th out of 34. So, uh, so you beat me. All right. More. <laughs> I, I finished 20th. Uh, so yeah, we, there was like 40 people in there. I figured I'd yeah. run middle of the road. We had a good time. There are some videos from that coming as well. Uh, but, uh, anyway, it was a lot of fun and that's really how we met. Yeah. Um, I'm really interested in what you've got going here. So tell us a little bit about your system and what it's going to do. Yeah. So essentially, um, I'm going to move this out of the way so you can kind of see it a little bit bit more but it's a little brain that you can put on the target and what this brain does is it will visually signal you with this indicator flag when to engage the target you have a set amount of time to hit the target before it drops down and counts as a miss and when you do hit the target it will actually read the imp the vibration from the impact of the round on the steel and count the hit so when you have a bunch of these devices out on a range they wirelessly communicate to each other in a mesh network Okay. Uh, back to your smart device and you can set up different, we call them scenarios, but uh, programs, drills, games, you name it, you can kind of tweak all your scenario parameters. So you can do pistol draw training, random target exposures, shoot, no shoot, and then all your shooter performance is tracked and, and given back to you in, in the app. So you've got an app that tracks uh, basically like, uh, I mean, if you're using a pistol, like you're drawing a first shot yep. um, and, and transition splits and that kind of thing, that kind of speaks to the, the language that at least I yeah. speak a little bit. Split but then, times. Yeah, but then you can also use this for some long range stuff. Absolutely. Uh, how far out can you go? Uh, so the system in its entirety, you they relay to each other. You can go out to over 3000 yards with this thing. So the okay. idea is that the entire system is modular. It's, it's comprised of three devices. There's a control hub, which is like a, a base station. There's the smart target attachment, which is the device that goes onto your steel firearm targets. And then there are signal repeaters, which are an optional thing, which just boost your signal strength to allow you to achieve these distances. Okay. And we offer various packages, which is just a different um, set or different uh, uh, number of these various devices for, you know, whether you're an entry level shooter, whether you're a long distance like PRS shooter, or whether you're like law enforcement military looking for that randomness that yep. you don't know where the threat's going to be coming from. Oh man, I so can I pull this off of here and yeah, give him a close up? Okay, so this he's got this Velcro to the back. I mean, this is just a steel target from challenge targets. Yep. Um, this piece, am I gonna break it? Nope. No, so the trick it. here is this is toolless changeover. You actually bow it and then it pops right off. Oh, you're a wizard, Harry. So you don't you don't right. actually shoot the uh, the indicator. Yeah, you're not shooting that. You're shooting the steel. Yep. And if you do, you can see that you know there are a couple of bullet <laughs> holes in those. They can take multiple shots. Uh, they are replaceable and, okay. and very inexpensive. And so then this is the 
I don't know what you call it. Smart this, target smart attachment. Smart target attachment. And so this is the piece that feels the vibration when you hit it. He's got Velcro on the top of, and this you can just use any steel you really want, right? Yeah, well, yeah, for the most and, part. And it doesn't necessarily have to be at the top. You can put yep. it at the bottom side, whatever. Um, you probably want to mount it low enough that if you have somebody go over it, they're not going to hit that, yep. right? Correct. Uh, these particular targets, these are close range targets, so they have a high uh, 30 yep. degree angle lean. Um, so if you have like, like we have Origin Tactical Solutions targets out there as well, they stand a little straighter, not as much of a problem. Um, but yeah, as long as you can see the active target indicator, you're golden. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. All right, well, let's turn this around and show them what that looks like. You bet. Quick. I want to hold that can for I me. Yep. Okay. And then this uses, right now, it's an Android only thing, right? Yep. Uh, as of right now, it's it's August 2022, Android only. Um, we are anticipating to have iOS done sometime this fall. They are currently working on it. Okay. Well, we're all Apple people, so I'm yeah, going to I'm I'm gonna have to go too. get one of those, but yeah. All right, so to walk us through here. So um, so on a single target like this, mm -hmm. if you're just working, let's just say draw to first shot. Yep. Now we've done videos before where we use a visual indicator rather than a beep because Correct. we know on the day that it happens, chances are it's gonna be a visual indicator. Nobody's gonna walk around with a beep and then throw a punch, right? right? Um, so you're gonna have a visual indicator. Um, and I, I just happen to know, we got to play with it a little bit this morning. So I'm, I, I have a little bit of an idea of this. I, boy, I suck with this already, <laughs> but, um, but I'm, I'm tickled about it. Um, they're quiet. Yes. Um, yeah. So I imagine with us sitting with the mics, we may hear this or not, but if you're sitting at 15 yards, you don't hear this yeah, right. at all. Because uh, there is a little servo in here that actuates this indicator. Yep. And you know, what we were kind of talking about earlier with, with the IDPA that we did this weekend, right? You make up in your mind, you already know what targets you're gonna engage and you already make up in your mind which order you're gonna engage them in. In a real life situation, whether that's like a military uh, combat situation, law enforcement, self-defense, you might not know where the threat's gonna come from, yeah. when it's gonna come, and how long it's gonna present, present itself, right? So using a shot timer is not a very good representation of a real life scenario. And that's where we try and- right. It's a it's a very natural next level step. Yeah. I think the yep. shot timer is wildly important. Yes, and you'll and nobody will ever. I I mean you can say what you want in the comments because yeah, there's no timer in a gunfight, blah blah blah. But um, having having knowing where you are is important. Um, but the, I think the next step is the visual side of this, and right. this is a great opportunity yep. for that. Um, and then you know the scenario stuff where we when we played with it a little bit, and I got my introduction. Well, I mean we we had targets setting 25 yards apart, mm -hmm. um, and now all of a sudden you're looking at your you know at yeah. your peripherals, and you're like, whoa, this is next level stuff. Yep. So, you're not you're not yeah. tunnel visioned down a firing lane. You actually right. have to get your head on the swivel, have situational awareness, and know what you're looking at. So. What we did this morning, we had four targets out here, uh, anywhere between 25 to, I think, 35 yards. And basically what you were looking for was a target to go active. Now this target is set, uh, it'll stay active for five seconds. If you don't hit it within that five seconds, it drops down, counts as a miss. But if you do hit it within that five seconds, it reads the impact on that steel target and, then, yep. and counts the hit. And then it continues on and you can set it to randomly activate one target, two targets, three targets, the amount of time a target is up, the amount of time in between targets. So you have mm. control on how you want to set up your scenario. So if you're wanting to work on uh, 300 yard shots or mm -hmm. 500 or 1,000 yards, uh, 3,000 yards, you can have that thing come up and sit there and give them a minute to find it yeah. or whatever. So Yep. Uh, basically you can have it set where it'll stay up in, until you hit it. So oh, okay. yep. yep. if you wanted to do like, uh, like obviously we were just doing pistol and, and PCC training here, but if we wanted to do work with like our LPVO from yep. 25 to 400 yards, yeah, we can, we can do that. You can have mm. targets activating at those various distances where you gotta uh, adjust your scope if um, only we had one of those for another video, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's coming. Well, cool, man. Um, so, so talk to us a little bit about, uh, so, so what you, uh, what your product is, is this setup with the mesh network piece. Yep. Um, and you can go from what one, one target is, is your entry level packet, right? Yep. Correct. And then three targets is your next level. And then you yep. can kind of do what you want from there. Correct. Yeah. So basically, uh, it starts out at $400. It can go all the way up to $4,000. Um, and we have various, uh, accessories with it hard carrying cases, chargers, um, tablet kits, 
It, but okay. for the everyday shooter, uh, I would recommend at least going with the starter pack. That's the $800 price point that gets you three targets, the base station, all the little accessories you need to operate. And what it's going to do is, you know, it, our goal is to put it around the same price as your average pistol in the uh, mm, uh, yep. on the market. Um, and the idea is you ha everybody has a lot of guns, everybody has a lot of accessories, but everybody's going out and shooting at a 10 cent piece of paper or maybe like a, a couple hundred dollar steel target. To get more out of the stuff that you already have, that's where we kind of wanted oh, yeah. this. So now you're you're up in your own training without having to spend, you know, like $9,000 for one of those pop-up targets. Yeah, exactly. Well, cool. Well, let's, uh, let's go set this thing down here a little bit. Let's give them a quick demo. Uh, and then we're gonna make a few more videos and do some of the scenarios that'll play other times here. But, uh, you know, I just wanna, I wanna thank you for coming down. It's been really oh, good to meet man. you. We've had, a, awesome. we've had a lot of fun here. This is gonna be cool. Um, we are gonna use these. He's, uh, Tyler's gonna borrow me a set of these to use at our national conference. Mm -hmm. So in a couple of our classes, we've got an intro to long range that we're gonna use these in, uh, in our church safety class that we do, we're gonna use these in and maybe a couple of others. So if you aren't registered for that, maybe register for that, I don't know. Um, if not, uh, what's the website that they wanna go to? Yeah, it's just triggerinteractive.com. We have a great product video on the main page that shows everything. And then uh, we have a detailed page for the system, for the app and the store as well. Cool. All right, we'll put links to it as well. Um, but uh, let's go set this bad boy down here a little ways right. and let them see here. You so. bet. Okay, so we have set up here. Uh, I get to shoot something fancy today. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but you can't hear it. Uh, oh, yeah. Tell us what we got here. Yeah, so that is my SIG MPX, uh, complete with a, let's see, we got Haley Strategic uh, Light Mount Surefire Light uh, M600, Silencer Co. Omega 9K, Trigicon SRO and Radian Raptor uh, charging handle. Other than that, the rest is SIG, oh, and UTG um, angled foregrip. And uh, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite guns. Um, <laughs> I can see why. Yeah, I um, did just get an SP5, so. Yeah, John's got an SP5 that kind of resembles this a little bit. <laughs> I'm working on one. This is a uh, not a not a cheap hobby yeah. at all, but. Uh, we call anyway. this a tax write-off. Yeah, this so, is fun. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a good time here. Um, okay, so what do we got set up here? We you got bet. three targets? Yeah, so we have actually four targets out here. Oh, yeah. um, again, two of them are challenge targets. Uh, two of them are origin tactical solutions targets. So it goes back to the point that you can use this on whatever steel target manufacturer you want, or if you already have existing steel targets. Um, so we're gonna set up a scenario. You have four seconds to engage two different targets per iteration with a total of five iterations. So you'll have a total of 10 targets. Two of them will pop up uh, at five different presentations. So whenever you're ready. So two targets are gonna be up every time. Yep. And I hit them both and then- Within four be, seconds. Within four seconds yep. and then there'll be some delay, two more will pop up. Correct. And yep. that's gonna happen how many times? Total of five. Okay. And they we can all change all that of that. To, yeah, yeah. I yep. have to be expl every, everything explained three or four times, so. Yep. All right, cool. All right, I'm so ready. whenever you're ready. Okay. Shooter ready. Yep. Watch your lane. That one's loud. <laughs> ah, I cannot shoot and talk at the same time. <laughs> All right, we're good. Put good? her on safe. All right, we're safe. All right, so uh, I can give you the uh, the screenshot later. Yes. But so uh, I missed on purpose. That was <laughs> for your benefit. But uh, it registered all ten. You okay. saved yourself there. Yep. Um, the the uh, app will give you your individual split times on each target okay and then an average reaction time which is an average of your split time so you are engaging a target 1.481 seconds okay and then you had a score of 185.19 and so okay. the best thing i can equate this to is if anybody's played big buck hunter at the bar where you get points for how many targets you hit plus points for how fast you were so the more accurate you are and the quicker you are at engaging those, the higher your score is gonna be. Score is best out of 200. Okay, okay. So that's a reasonable score. Mm -hmm. um, what's somebody good 
going to score in there. Well, it, it, it's kind of all all dependent, right? Like 185 yeah. is is pretty salty. Is it actually. okay? I okay. mean, you will never score a perfect 200 because that would mean you would have to hit every target right at zero oh, okay. seconds. Okay. Right? Okay. Right. So. Uh, yeah, 184 is really good. And of course, it all depends on on the difficulty. Like we make right. this more difficult by walking 100 mm -hmm. yards that way. Or spreading it out. Or spreading it out. Yeah, right? so when we played with it this morning, things were spread out to the point where I, if I turned my head about that far, I lost mm -hmm. the side. And now it's a lot, uh, dramatically harder. Yes, yeah. <laughs> than this one, yeah. Because again, everybody gets that tunnel vision where they're yeah. used to looking down a shooting, a line at a shooting range. And when you have to swivel about, you yeah. know, almost 180 degrees, you know, not quite, um, it's it's a whole different element yep. because you need to be looking for that motion out of your peripherals to be able to engage in right. time. Cool. Yeah, and I uh, I know that you can't hear what we can hear here, but you can't hear those pop up. No. From this far away, I don't I don't engage with any sound no. whatsoever. It's just the movement, and you can see some of them are orange and some of them are white. The orange ones are hard with that orange card because mm -hmm. uh, if you don't catch that movement, all of a sudden it's just oh that target's oh it's a little taller yep. and because it popped up. So yep, exactly. Cool. Well, Tyler, thank you very much, man. You this bet, is yeah. awesome. Like getting to shoot fun guns is always cool too. <laughs> um, guys, go check this out. The website uh, will be in the link below here. Uh, we're gonna do a few more videos. And like I said, we're, we're gonna use this at our conference and show some folks off to this thing. Fairly new company, right? Yes, yep, yep. Not we just launched long. in January, 2022. Uh, we've been yeah. making rounds this summer. Brownells Gun Con, Primary Arms Range Day, right. NRA show. So trying to South get, Dakota trying to get guy. out there. Yeah. Yeah, so right on. Uh, thanks, man, I appreciate you bet, it. Neil. All right. See you next time.